Hello everyone, um, basically I'm going to do a few videos where I'm going to flip this guitar. That means I'm going to buy it, which I obviously already did, and I'm gonna make some minor repairs and adjustments and make it a little more attractive and then I'm gonna sell it and see if I can make some cash in the process and also maybe learn something or just have a bit of fun with it. So. This first video is going to be the unboxing and the planning and uh, yeah ideas video. And I also would like you guys to view to uh, sorry uh, leave your comments uh, below this video if you have any ideas on what I can do to this guitar to make it a little more yeah just just a little better uh, a little more valuable. Um, it shouldn't be something crazy expensive because uh, that kind of erases the whole point. But um, I would appreciate any ideas. Now I got this guitar for approximately ninety-seven dollars. It's uh, eight hundred Norwegian kroner, and um, these guitars usually go for any anything from two hundred to three hundred and fifty dollars in Norway used. It has some minor damages. Uh, shouldn't be too bad. I think I can make it look a little better, and it uh, needs some adjustments. But first thing first, I'm going to take this pair of scissors and uh, open the box up and we'll see. So, as you might see, this is just a uh, usual <laughs> kind of uh, not too fancy Ibanez RG370 DX, or at least that's what it should be. <laughs> and that's what it is. I've had a couple of these guitars before. This was one of my first Ibanez guitars, actually. And uh, it's, it's quite good. The neck isn't. Uh, prestige thin um, but it kind of does its job quite well and uh, it has uh, the stock pickups stock bridge looks like I'm missing the tremolo arm it might be buried somewhere in the uh, box might have to get a new one for that and the damage that it has is this quite large chip on the back it doesn't look as bad as I was prepared for it to do um, so if you have any creative ideas on how to fix this just let me know I will appreciate any advice you guys can give me I'm also not completely sure if I'm gonna keep these uh, green volume knobs and uh, switches um, obviously this one is original um, and I'm considering ordering just new a new black original knob for this one and uh, otherwise it yeah it looks okay the paint is in good condition few scratches I think with some polishing and some general cleaning this uh, might turn out to be pretty good and I might be able to make a few bucks so after fiddling around in the box a little bit more I found this bag with what seems to be the original knobs and the uh, original uh, pickup selector switch knob so uh, what do you guys think? should I keep these green knobs? maybe order another green one for this or uh, should I go for the original ones? let me know what you think and also I looked at the Floyd Rose or the Edge 3 and uh, the ad says, said that it needed some adjustments, but as you can see it's pretty flat and uh, the guitar even arrived in tune, pretty much, which is uh, not so usual for something that doesn't arrive in a box, a guitar case I mean, and this chip back here, this whole part of the wood has kind of been raised up a bit. I think I'm probably going to have to lift it up and squirt some wood glue underneath and just clamp it down with some clamps just level this out because it looks kind of ugly right now 
and also I've discovered uh, where was it uh, some more things in the paint right there but that's not really too serious and the uh, output jack is a little loose um, but that's an easy fix so yeah that's pretty much the state of this guitar right now as it is I'm gonna have to change the change the strings <laughs> sorry um, these strings are probably 9 to 42 and I always play 10 to 46 strings I'm probably gonna change them but I, I don't know yet because uh, I'm gonna get rid of this guitar anyways so yeah uh, let's see where we take it from here so as you can see this guitar is quite dirty and uh, you can see in the reflections of the light there's finger marks probably some leftovers from some sweat and uh, just general dirt and I'm gonna hit it with some uh, Dunlop guitar polish and cleaner it's not the most abrasive stuff it doesn't really get rid of any swirls or or any uh, ugly um, scratches but it makes the guitar a little bit clean, cleaner and a little more shiny so I'm just gonna spray some on and buff it off with some uh, with a microfiber, microfiber towel Oh, that was just like two minutes of uh, cleaning and polishing and uh, I don't know if you can tell as much of a difference from the camera obviously there's still scratches but it's a lot cleaner right now that uh, polishing stuff really helped and uh, just shows how a little bit can go get you a long way when it comes to just making the guitar look a little bit better and uh, and uh, make it more uh, sellable I guess really looks a lot better now should I maybe try with some turtle wax I don't know maybe I'll do something with something more abrasive to try and get rid of some more of the scratches but for now it's fine I guess so I can see that a uh, new Ibanez tremolo arm for the H3 tremolo is about uh, 14 49 dollars and ten dollars in shipping to Norway the, so that's gonna add about uh, 200 uh, kroners to my uh, spent resources on this guitar I just emailed the seller and asked if there is actually a bar inside the box I digged around couldn't find it but um, we'll see if it pops up if it doesn't I'm just gonna have to order one and uh, we'll take it from there 